Welcome back everyone to another episode in my shooter series. In the last episode we created a hit scan weapon and you can see the hit scan weapon in its working now. You see it spawns a line trace out from the weapon and detects whether or not it hits something. However, what we're going to do next is create a impulse at the location of where it hits so we can make it shoot and affect these boxes like our projectile used to. Okay, so that's what we're doing in this episode. So, previously, I'm let me just make some space here so you can make it nice and clear to everyone. Let's move that up. Okay, so pr this is what we've done previously. So, we created the world location and world rotation of the camera to create the line trace. And the line trace has a break hit result. From the out here, we can break the hit result and get all the data that the line trace gets us. And now afterwards, we go in and play the animation and take away the ammo. So I'm just going to make a load more space here. And what we're going to do is create some impacts. Okay, so we're going to do basically what the projectile does. So when the projectile hits something, it does all this stuff. Okay, so we're going to do this something similar to this. So on our gun parent, we break the hit result. The first thing we're going to do is check whether or not we actually hit something. So I'm blocking hit. We're going to go from there and do a branch and if the branch is true that means we've hit something so from true the next thing we're going to do is check whether or not the thing we've hit has physics enabled so on the hit component drag this out and go is simulating physics and then from there we do another branch to determine whether or not we are simulating physics. If we are simulating physics, that's when we're going to apply our impulse. So from the true, type in impulse, and we're going to add uh, uh, impulse at location, sorry. Um, but what I wanna do is delete the target because the target we're gonna use is going to be the hit component that we just hit okay so hit component comes from there and goes straight into the target of the add impulse that means we're applying the impulse physics to the actual thing we hit okay so we now need to give this a couple of variables we have to give it the impulse so the amount of force we're going to give it and the location of this force so the location of this force is going to come from the impact point so drag the impact point out and go to the location try and make some space here the next thing is the impulse. So the impulse is a little bit trickier because it's a vector rather than a straight value. So the impulse comes from back here actually. So this is where we get in the direction of the gun and it's where it's firing. So the get forward vector you see here, we actually want to save this as a local variable to determine which way we are actually facing. Okay, so let's get the forward vector and we're going to promote to a local variable and I'm going to set that up here like so and we're going to name it um, billet uh, well, no, we say gun direction okay so the gun direction is a vector and that is going into uh, just a local variable and so what we're going to do is use the gun direction variable up here for the impulse and choose get and we're going to multiply this by a large value so the gun direction currently uh, is being multiplied by 2000 to get the distance so you want at least 2000 but in this number is going to be quite large so I'm going to multiply it by a float so 2000 by default which isn't that hard at all, it's literally tapping it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add a couple of zeros to that. If I drag that now onto impulse, I've got, what's that, 200,000? Yeah, 200,000, okay. So I'm applying gun, di gun direction by 200,000. And now I'll make that impulse quite punchy. And you can tweak that however you like later on. Click compile and we go back to our game and play it and you can see now my line trace is now affecting 
the world around it. So it will affect anything that has physics enabled. Okay. Um, if you want to get rid of the line trace debug, you just go to the draw debug on the line trace and change that to none. And hey presto, you've got invisible bullets. Hope you found that informative and uh, useful. In the next episode, we're going to add some bullet hole decals to our line trace so you actually see the damage being done to the world around us. I've been Ryan Laley, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this uh, channel. And if you have any comments or questions about how line traces or hit scan weapons work, or any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. See you next time. Bye bye. Hi everyone, if you do like these videos and you have liked what I've done in the past and want to see what else I can do, um, all your support is greatly appreciated on YouTube. However, I do have a Patreon set up as well where you can support me even further. Money donated by yourselves will help me make better videos and better content um, and more frequently, hopefully. Plus, it will help me develop my own projects. Currently, I'm in a project at the moment and I'll hopefully be able to share that with you uh, sh soon. Um, if you do uh, choose to donate and subscribe to us on Patreon, uh, you do get access to videos two weeks ahead of time, plus there are many other rewards available to you too. So head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, and uh, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.